Uh, next question, someone's saying, okay, I have a few questions about a green card. I might get the immigration visa stamped in my passport in September and will visit the U.S. or enter the U.S. in October. Will my green card become active when I land in the U.S.? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, if you're going to your immigrant visa interview in September, once you finish that interview, you're going to have a visa stamped in your passport. And that visa is your immigrant visa. And so when you take that to the United States on that first trip to the U.S., you're going to be stamped into the U.S. as a resident. So the visa itself acts as the actual green card once you present it to the officer and they stamp you in. The actual card comes in the mail about a month later. Um, but once you enter that first time, your first footprint into the U.S., you are considered a permanent resident. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. She he or she has some follow-up questions. The next one is, and um, it's tax-related, do I have to pay U.S. taxes for the entire 2021 or only the period in 2021 after I get the green card? Do I have to disclose my entire earnings for the year anyways? So uh, to answer your question, in 2022, when you're doing a 2021 return, it'll be something called a dual status return, where, as you kind of intimated, you're correct in that for the part of the year in which you have entered the U.S. and you are a U.S. person for tax purposes, you would be doing something called a Form 1040, which is for a U.S. tax resident. But for the period before you enter the U.S., you'll be doing combined will be your first year's return. And for the, for the period of time where you were non-resident, you'd only be declaring your U.S. source income if you have any, like investment income. For the period of time after you've entered the U.S. and therefore you become a U.S. person for, 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 from a tax perspective, you correct, you disclose worldwide uh, financial assets and you declare your worldwide income. It's all subject to tax. So I hope that helped. Uh, they're asking what tax rate do I need to pay? It really depends. The U.S., like many jurisdictions, has a graduated tax rate. So the more you earn, the higher the bracket that you will fall into. So uh, for federal taxes, it tops off at this point. It could change. It's going to top at 37%. Uh, for state taxes, depends on the state you're in. Uh, the highest state will be California, where, where Mike is based. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Our books and upcoming events are available at htj.tax. Email us at help at htj.tax to engage us to advise on international tax or business matters.